Today we're going to be doing a bronze copper. It's a bronzy, summery kind of look for the end of summer because it's almost fall. Fall's my favorite season of the year, especially for makeup. So I wanted to do this look before we got to the end of it. So if you want to get this look, just keep watching. Hey everybody, y'all ready to get started? Let's go ahead and do it. Okay, today we're going to be using the Makeup Revolution palette. This is the Ultra Eye Contour palette. Now, this is the one that is supposedly the dupe to the Kat Von D Shade and Light. And we've also, oh, we're going to be working with CoverGirl True Naked's the Golden's palette, of course. And then we're going to have one of these little singles from LA Colors, the Matte Shadows. This is the color Forbidden. This is kind of a, a deep red burgundy color. And then for transition color, we're going to be using Foxy, and that's another little LA Color single. Those things are only 50 cents. You wouldn't believe it how good they work. And then also we're going to be using, this is the, oh wow, I'm going to have to put the name at the top because it is rubbed off. It's um, something supercharged. I can't really remember what the little palette's called. I got it in one of my Epsi bags. Really good intense eyeshadows, shimmer shadows. Hey everybody, so let's get started. First, we're going to go ahead and take one of our blending brushes, and this is the Wet n Wild blending brush. And of course, you can see I could already, I've already done one of my eyes, but the other eye is already primed and ready to go. So we're going to take the color, the shade Foxy. This is one of the single shadows. And we're going to lay that down for a transition shade. Try to make sure y'all can see this. Now, a lot of times for these blowed out looks, I like to go kind of high with my transition shade. And all a transition shade is really, it's one of your lighter colors, and it just helps with the blending throughout the whole eye look. I'm hoping y'all can see that really good. We'll go ahead and blend that in, and then we're going to sweep it out just a little bit. Okay, now next, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go into our Makeup Revolution palette. And we're going to use that orangey color right there. It's kind of like a burnt orange, a little bit lighter than the burnt orange though. And we're going to take this crease shader brush. This is the crease blending brush by Wet n Wild. And I love to use that to you to lay the color up underneath my transition shade. Not really the crease color because the crease color is going to be one of the darkest ones. We're going to go all the way across with this one. I'm trying to make sure y'all can see. And these shadows are very, very pigmented. So you might want to tap them off a little bit better than what I just did right there. And we're going to try to get some of this on that outer V. And then kind of sweep that one out too. I love these shades. I can't wait for fall. I love wearing makeup. The eyeshadow looks during the fall. They're so beautiful and bright. And you know, those deep plums and wines and oranges. They are just so beautiful. The burgundies, I love them. Now we're going to take a blending brush. This is my Wet n Wild that I used to lay my transition shade. We are going to blend those together. And of course, I didn't wipe off my brush like I was supposed to. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, next I'm going to take this the deep red little single shadow by the LA Colors. This is the color Forbidden. Now this is a deep red burgundy, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to be using the Glamour Dolls. This is the crease blending brush right here. This is the one I got in the EMC that I said I would test out for a week. Get ready for that video. We're going to go ahead and load our brush down with this. Don't never blow on your eyeshadows. I don't even know why I just done that. That is so, so unhealthy. Go ahead and tap that off. Now we want to focus this one on the outer V. I'm hoping y'all can see that. Go ahead and focus that one right there in the crease on the outer V. And then we want it on our lid. And once you've laid the color down, 
I'm going to take it halfway over in the crease and go ahead and blend this one out. And then you can use kind of circular motions to get all that off of the brush. And then I like to go down on the lid and kind of pull it in just a little ways and then out. And if I could find it, I'm going to take a blending brush again, the Wet n Wild, whichever blending brush you prefer to use. We're going to go ahead and blend those together. People make, well, I know I do. I make such an ugly face whenever I'm doing stuff like this. <coughs> okay. Now for the lid, I'm going to use this little concealer brush on the end of the Naked 2. This is the Naked 2 palette brush. And I'm going to use the little small concealer side of it. And then take your Fix Plus or whatever primer spray or whatever you're using. Well, let's hit it one time with it. I don't even know why I've done that. Don't do that yet. I forgot to tell you, I was going to try out this hard candy. It's the Eye Def Metallic Eyeshadow. I think this is like a rose. It's called Golden Earth, but it's like a rose gold. It's that nice, beautiful, bronzy color. I forgot all about this. I wanted to try this out under a color. Matter of fact, under that intense eyeshadow palette that I've got. And I don't lay that much down. I don't take it all over my lid. What I'm going to do is take our brush that I just sprayed, whichever one you prefer to use for your lid, and I'm going to kind of put it where I want it, which is going to be all over the lid. Bring it almost all the way to the end. Wow, that is beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to wipe the brush off. I'm going to spray it like I did originally. I don't know why I just opened my lid and that's trying to dry. And I, really, I don't want it to dry because I just wanted to see how intense I could get these. And I'm going to use the gold shade. I'm not sure if you can see this. There's a gold shade and there's also like a the copper color. So we're going to do the gold, of course. Tap that off. It's not really powdery, but it is kind of dusty. Wow, it is beautiful. And we're going to lay that right over top of that one color I just laid down. Wow, that is so beautiful. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, then I'm going to wipe my brush off and I'm just going to kind of rub back and forth over top of the lid. Make sure we got it placed there. And what I'm going to do, since I wiped the brush off, I'm going to hit it again with the spray, your Fix Plus, whatever kind of primer spray you want to use. We're going to go back into this little palette, and I'm going to use the copper shade. If you can see it, this is the copper shade right here. Why do I keep doing that? <laughs> I'm sorry, girls. Tap your brush off. I think I just done that. I'm not sure. And I'm going to lay this, focus this more on the end of the lid. I don't want to bring it all the way out on the corner because we're going to take that dark, deep, burgundy single shadow again and lay across there. Kind of rub it back and forth, make sure that color gets in. Then my brush is already sprayed enough. I'm going to go ahead into the Golden's palette and I'm going to take this shade right here. I want to see if this is light enough because I'm kind of doing the umbro effect or umbre, whatever you call it. And I'm going to put this one on the inner corner. Make sure y'all can see. Hmm. It's definitely lighter. And I do love these shadows. These never fail. These shimmer shadows in this one, they just don't never fail. So what I'm going to do... That was the darkest. We better not do that. We might better, I'm going to go in with my finger on the gold one here because it's not giving me exactly what I want it to do. And usually if you'll go in there with your finger and kind of tap it on your lid, 
it will give you twice as much pigment. Okay, perfect. And just don't mind me if I'm not talking while I'm doing my eye look. It's just, it's a habit because it's so hard to do one thing at a time or do more than one thing at a time. I'm sorry. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to go back into the copper shade. And I'm going to put that on my finger also because that also didn't give me what I wanted exactly. And I'm going to hit that outer V with it. They show up a little bit more intense when you do them with your fingers. Okay, that looks decent enough. Okay, now if I could find my brush that I was just using, whatever it may be, I am so unprepared. And I'm going to take the same brush that I put the color on the lid with, and I'm going to rub it back and forth on the colors. I just want those colors on the lid to blend together. And then we're going to take a crease brush, any choice, any one that you like to use. And then I'm going to blend out that crease right there. I don't want a lot of that shimmer getting up there. Okay. And now what we're going to do, we are going to hit that outer V with our dark burgundy. If I could find the brush. Now I'm going to use this brush by L. This is their, I'm not sure if it's a blending shader brush, but it is by e.l.f. And it is, if you could tell, it's shaped like a circle in the end. And it's just like the best little smudger brush. And again, like I said, we're going to take our deep burgundy. We're going to get us some on the brush here. Tap it off. And then we're going to hit that outer V. Now this, of course, is focused on the outer part of the lid, the outer V. I'm going to kind of blend it toward the other shades on the lid. And then through that crease, but we're not going to take it all the way in. And kind of flick it out, if you could see what I'm doing. And once we get most of this color off of the brush, <clears throat> or you can wipe it off like I do, then I like to go in and kind of do it again in circular motions and make sure it's all blended together. And I like to blend my dark toward the outer part of the lid where we've got the shimmer shades. Kind of make sure it's blended out. I don't know why I'm forgetting. I am going to take one of these little small crease brushes or whatever you like to um, put your highlight on your under the brow bone. I'm going to take this color in the Golden's palette. This is the lightest cream color. And I'm going to load my brush down, tap it off. Now, when you are doing your brow bone, you don't want to drag the highlight too far down because if you have hooded eyes like I do. Well, mine are um, deep, deep set eyes, I believe is what they would call them. If you drag your highlight down too far, it could close your eyes off even more. So I like to keep that color really close to my brow bone. And then I'm going to take my little blending brush. This is my little It's Cosmetic blending brush, and I'm going to kind of blend underneath that to make sure there is no harsh lines. And then again, one of your blending brushes. This is the Wet n Wild that I've been using for the transition shade and everything. And I'm gonna blend all the colors together one more time. There we go. Now we're gonna go underneath and I'm gonna use the same little It's Cosmetic that I just done, my brow bone highlight. And I'm going to take the orange again out of the Makeup Revolution palette, be right here. I'm going to get some of that on my brush and I'm going to tap it off and I'm going to get the lower lash line. I want to make sure you are able to see. Now this color we're going to drag all the way across 
and make sure you blend it really good. Kind of drag it out a little bit. Okay, then next, if you can find a pencil brush like I can't, I'm going to use my Eco Tools pencil brush. And I'm going to get that deep wine color again, a little single. Load my brush down. I blew in it again. Why do I keep doing that? I'm telling y'all not to. Wow. Okay. Then I'm going to take this, and this is going to go on our lower lash line also, but it is not going to go but halfway, at least where your color stops on your upper lid, the outer V. I'm so sorry for making an ugly face. And then we're going to blend that one out. We don't want to drag it too far down. Make sure it goes out. If y'all could see the highlight. Oh my goodness. It's incredible, but hello texture. Okay. Now, I want to, I'm just, I got to blend again. I'm always blending, 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 because I feel like I don't never blend enough. Blend that underlid. Okay, now for the inner corner, I'm going to use the e.l.f. little, this is their small concealer brush, little teeny tiny one. That's e.l.f., like I said. And I'm going to take the lightest shimmer color in the Golden's palette, and that's going to be this one right here. I'm going to get some on that. I'm going to tap it off because that is definitely, that is the one of the highest pigmented palettes I've got. Now this is going to go on our outer or inner corner, I'm sorry, for our highlight. And you want to make sure that this one is like either the lightest or the same color as the lightest color on your lid or your brow bone, either one. I don't like to put shimmer on my brow bone. But I do love shimmer on the inner corner. And a lot of times I'll do my inner corner just matte. But today we're going to go shimmer with it since we are doing a bronzy look. I just love these colors. And you know, it's almost the end of summer, so I wanted to do one of these bronzy looks because I just I love them. And pretty soon, fall time, I'm not going to want to do them no more. So, okay, and now what we're going to do. Is I'm going to just tight line. I was thinking about doing a wing, but I've already done a wing in all my videos. And this bronzy look, I mean, there's just so much to look at. So I'm going to use the one that I got my Ipsy back. But it's the Liquid Cold Waterproof Liner, the Seraphine Botanicals. This little felt tip liquid liner. And it is supposedly waterproof. And I'm just going to tight line the top of my lid with it. I'm going to do no outrageous wing or any of that. I want to hit that inner corner. And that outer corner. And you always do a little bit of flick, even though if you're not doing a wing. Okay, now what we're going to do, I'm going to um, do black eyeliner, and I'm going to be using the Ciate London Wonderland Coal Liner. This is their dual-ended one. I'm just got a brush. One of them's got the liner. Like me, I don't never open up the right end at the first try. I don't know how I just done that. And we're going to go ahead and do your upper lash line, and we're going to do the lower one also. And I always make sure I get that outer corner like really good. I just feel like it brings the look all together. And then what I'm going to do, since I was using that rose gold on the lid, is I've got the LA Colors Chunky Eye Pencil. This is in shade, oh my goodness, bronze. My goodness, how did I go wrong there? And I'm going to take this on my lower lash line just to give it a bit of bronze look on the bottom. I'm not going to take it all the way out to the corner. I'm just going to take it right there, right where the burgundy is. And I'm going to stop. 
now all we got to do is the lashes curl those lashes girls and I like to do mine a couple of times and I'm going to be using the Maybelline the Colossal Volume Express Mascara I love this mascara usually I only have to do one layer and I always wipe my brush off just a little bit just like that and I want to focus most of it on the outside of the eye and a lot of times if it's not doing what I want it to do, I'll take my liner or my mascara and hold it just like this and just use the end of it. Expect, I do it all the time on my lower lash line or lashes, I'm sorry. It just works so much better that way and I don't like the spidered clumped up look. And this mascara is just perfect and of course I got my eye. And if you do get any on your eye, just let it dry and it'll flake right off. And I believe that is it. I would blend it one more time, but of course I can't do that. But this is the finished eye look, girls. It is it not beautiful for the end of summer. Well, that's it. That's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the look. I know I love this look, but I, I can't wait till fall. I can't wait for those, the wines, burgundies, the oranges, the fall colors. I just love it. Fall is my favorite season of the year, especially for makeup. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Be with me next time and let's see what we do. Love you all.